This is uh, section 9, 10, day 2, and uh, we've got these last two examples, which are both combining um, and modifying the series, those, the elemental series in that table that we received uh, yesterday. And um, so we're going to do a, a, it's kind of a proof here that if we modify the series e to the ix plus e to the minus ix, we'll, we'll see that the terms, the appropriate terms cancel out to end up being the series cosine x. Um, if multiplied by a half. And so just a, a quick refresher here from the table, we know that e to the x looks like, um, if we write it in, in nth term notation or series notation, it's the summation from n equals 0 to, to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. So if we want to write e to the i x, um, the term by term construction is putting an i x everywhere where we see an x in this expression. So um, this polynomial approximation looks like ix to the 0 over 0 factorial, x to the 0, um, ix to the 1 over 1 factorial, ix squared over 2 factorial, ix cubed over 3 factorial, ix to the 4th over 4 factorial, um, ix to the 5th over 5 factorial, and so on. Um, so going out to a, a P6 and, and extending it beyond that, there's the uh, term by term construction of e to the i x. Um, if we simplify that, uh, this whole thing is 1. <coughs> and simplifying this, um, this is i times x. And uh, simplifying this, we have i squared times x squared. And if you remember i squared, is, um, you remember i is the square root of negative 1, so i squared is negative 1. So this ends up being negative 1x squared over 2 factorial. And um, this i cubed is going to be then negative 1 times i. <coughs> so this is going to be negative ix cubed uh, over 3 factorial. And for this next term here, we, we're going to have i squared times i squared, which is the same as thinking negative 1 times negative 1. So this is going to be positive 1 times x to the 4th over 4 factorial. And then this is going to be then 1 times i, uh, or just i times x to the 5th over 5 factorial. And then this is going to be, uh, if we i to the 6th, is going to be i squared times i squared times i squared which is going to be negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. So that's going to be negative um, 1x to the 6 over 6 factorial. So um, now if we do the same thing for e to the minus ix power and do a term by term construction, then we're just putting a minus ix in everywhere we see that x term. And so we have a polynomial approximation that looks like this. And then we're going to do the same thing with simplifying the i's. And so we have that. And so uh, looking at this, this whole thing is 1. So that's 1 over 0 factorial. And we could call this whole thing 1 altogether. Um, this is uh, negative ix. And if you notice, when we start adding these together, we're going to start to have terms canceling out. And we'll, we'll do that on the next screen. Um, this is negative i squared. This is negative i times negative i, which is i squared. Um, and of course, i squared is negative 1. So this is all going to end up being negative 1x squared over 2 factorial. This is negative i times negative i times negative i, which is going to... Um, negative i times negative i is um, i squared. So that's negative 1 times negative i, which would be positive i cubed over 3 factorial. Um, this term is going to be negative i squared, or negative i times negative i, which is i squared. And then again, negative i times negative i, which is another i squared. Um, and so i squared is negative 1 
So we have negative 1 times negative 1. So this whole thing is going to be plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial. And then negative i to the 5th is going to be 1, because that's what negative i to the 4th is, 1 times negative i times x to the 5th. So that's going to be negative i x to the fifth over 5 factorial, and you'll, you'll see some canceling again. And then this is um, the negative i to the sixth power. Well, negative i times negative i, that's negative i squared, uh, is i squared. And we have, so we have i squared times i squared times i squared. So, and we know i squared is negative 1. So that ends up being negative 1 x to the sixth over 6 factorial. So we're going to take <clears throat> this simplified expression of e to the ix and this simplified expression at the bottom of e to the minus ix on the next screen. And um, we're going to go ahead and add these two. So 1 plus 1 then is, uh, and if we go just as a reminder what the expansion for cosine is, so I'm just adding these vertically like we would do back in grade school. So this whole thing is 1, this whole thing is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Um, these are opposites, so that's going to be 0. This plus this is negative 2. x squared over 2 factorial. Uh, these are opposites, so those are going to make 0. 1x to the 4th plus 1x to the 4th is going to be 2x to the 4th over 4 factorial. Uh, the fifth degree terms are opposite, so they're going to cancel. And then this is going to end up being minus 2x to the 6 over 6 factorial. So if we notice term by term, this first term 2 is twice as big as this. This second term is twice as big as this. This uh, fourth degree term is twice as big as this. This sixth degree term is twice as big as this. So this whole thing must be 2 cosine theta. So if we take half of this, like what we're saying up here, take half of that, we must be equal to cosine theta. So there's a, a, a proof that, and it's kind of interesting that we use Euler's number and we get a trig function. I always thought that was uh, kind of interesting that there's a, a relationship there between um, natural logs and, cosine, and trig functions. Um, this next example, is to find the first four non-zero term in terms of this Maclean series. So we notice we have two elemental series multiplied together. <clears throat> so just a reminder, here are the, here's e to the x and here's cosine x from that elementary function table. And so we are going to go do an old-fashioned FOIL. And so we want the first four non-zero terms. So if we look at four terms out on each one, um, this, the fourth term here is a third degree. And 1, 2, 3, 4, the fourth term here is a sixth degree. And we don't have to go all the way out to the sixth, but we need um, the first four non-zero terms. So that would be a zeroth term, a first degree, a second degree, and a third degree. Unless we have some canceling occurring, then we might have to go out to a fourth degree or a fifth degree. So we have to kind of figure out what, what if anything, drops out. And that determines how far out we foil. So I'm going to start by just multiplying the first two terms together. 1 times 1 is 1. And then I'm going to multiply the first term of e to the x times the second term of cosine x. So that's minus x squared over 2 factorial. And I'm going to keep foiling this out. I'm going to go out to at least a fourth degree. So that's plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial. So that's 1 times each one of these. Now I'm going to come up here to the next term. And x times 1 is x, and then x times this term is negative x cubed over 2 factorial, and then x times, oh, I don't know, yeah, I'm not going out to the fifth, fifth degree, that's right. So now I'm going to go over to the next term over, and I'm going to come back and start by multiplying that by 1 to get x squared over 2 factorial. Then I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two terms to get a fourth degree term. So that's x to the fourth over 2 factorial times 2 factorial is not 4 factorial. It's just 2 times 2. So I just left it as 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Um, and then I don't need to do the next one at the 6th degree. And I don't think we're going to need a 6th degree. So I'm going to come out here and multiply out. So x cubed 
uh, divided by 3 factorial times 1 is itself. And, um, and we still have a fourth degree out here. So I'm kind of starting to pick and choose now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fourth degree as well because I've got some fourth degree expressions here. So I'm going to multiply this times this. And, um, and so that is x to the fourth over 4 factorial. So now let's go ahead and start simplifying and see if anything cancels out. So um, I see that I have an x squared over 2 factorial, a negative 1, and a positive 1. So those are going to cancel. Um, my x cubes don't cancel. They have different denominators. My x to the fourths, I'm pretty sure, don't cancel. I'll have to do some math there. So it looks like I might have 1, 2, 3, 4 non-zero terms. So I had to go out to a fourth degree because these second degree terms canceled out. So 1 times 1 then is 1. And then I have an x. That's my next higher degree. My x squares canceled. My x cubes, different denominators. I have a 2 here and a 6 here. So the common denominator is 6. So I'm going to have 1 over 2. I'm going to call it 3 over 6. And this is going to be 1 over 6. So negative 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6, that's negative 2 over 6, which is negative 1 third. Um, and then I have to combine these fourth degree uh, terms. So 24 looks to be the common denominator. So this is 4, so multiplying top and bottom by 6, it gets a 6 over 24. 4 factorial is 24. So I'm going to have negative 6 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be negative 4 over 24, which is negative 1 over 6. So here are the first four non-zero terms for um, the Maclaurin series e to the x cosine x. So just to kind of summarize here, I suppose, is how to tail, build a Taylor or a Maclaurin series. Um, you can always build them the old-fashioned way. You can always use that derivative pattern and, and build the series the way we were doing at the beginning of this unit. Um, it's it's the long way, but it will always work. Um, and then you can the the shortcut is to build the series using that elemental table um, that allows us to uh, to avoid uh, all the derivatives calculations. Uh, so at this point, you should be able to finish up the homework for this should be nine ten. Um, and that would bring you then to finishing 9-10.